my name is Shweta Sinha and now take a look on today's business update. Facebook on Thursday launched its largest creator education and enablement program in India to provide content creators on its platform and Instagram an opportunity to learn, earn and grow their communities. Speaking at 2021 edition of Creator Day India, Instagram head Adasa Morsi said India is among the fastest growing market for the photo sharing and short video platform. India is one of the fastest growing countries in entire world, it becoming one of the most important place for us at Instagram to focus on. We can't be more excited about all the momentum and creativity we are seeing from Indian creators right now on Instagram, he added. India is poised to become one of the largest digital market with rapid expansion of mobile and internet as the country is the one of the fastest growing market with over 2100 fintechs, operational commerce and industry minister Piyush Khoyal is said on Thursday. Jandhan, Aadhaar and Mobile Trinity has enabled India to leverage its technical capabilities for developing the fintech sector. He said at the Global Fintech Fest 2021 organized by the National Payment Corporation of India, he added that fintech companies are playing a crucial role in financial inclusion in the country. Goel also said the fintech sector has demonstrated the resilience and adaptability of citizens towards technology and at 87% India has the highest fintech adoption rate in the world against the global average of 64%. Shares of India Overseas Bank on Thursday jumped 20% after the Reserve Bank removed it from the Prompt Corrective Action Framework. The stock zoomed 20% to Rs 24.60 on the BSC. At the NSC, it gained 19.80% to Rs 24.50. The Reserve Bank on Wednesday removed Indian Overseas Bank from the Prompt Correct Action Framework following improvement in various parameters and written commitment that the state-owned lender will compile with the minimum capital norms. On a review of performance of IOB, the Board for Financial Supervision on the basis of published financial results for 2020-2021 found that the bank was not in bridge of a PCA parameter. MSCI Standard Index could see the inclusion of SRF, Mindtree, IRCTC, Zomato and two other stocks in the upcoming November semi-annual index rebalancing Edelvis's alternative research said. Analysts believe the inclusion of six scripts to the index could result in flow worth $1.04 billion from foreign investors in these stocks, Morgan Stanley Capital International, the global index provider rebalances its indices. Semi-annually and quarterly, the semi-annual index review is expected to be announced in November this year, with a cut-off date being the last week of October. Earlier this week, to boost overall interoperability between the militaries of India and Nepal, the two sides started ex Surya Kiran in Petrograph, which will end on October 3, 2021. The main aim of 15th India-Nepal military training exercise is on disaster relief operation as well as counter-terror drills. On Thursday, there was a grand opening ceremony where LT Gen SS Mahal GOC UB area addressed the contingent of both countries. This drill is held by annually and is conducted alternatively in India and Nepal and an infantry battalion from the armies of both countries trained together. The purpose of training to develop interoperability, disaster relief operation and most important counter-terrorism operation. Around 650 officers and soldiers from the Nepalese army had reached last Saturday for joint training. Even the Indian army sent in the same number of officers and soldiers to participate in the drill which will also focus on humanitarian aid and medical and aviation support during the disaster relief operation. That's it today in business updates. For more updates, keep watching Crazy News.